it's Corrine for Knitwit Collections and today I have an adorable baby book to share with you. I am using a newer collection, it came out a few weeks ago from Knitwit Collections called Baby's First Boy. They recently came out with a girl collection as well which I'm excited to work with that collection also and this is one of my favorite collections. I, I know I probably say that about every single one but every one that I work with I am not disappointed in. I love all of them. So this one here as you can see I made my base album from Craft Cardstock. I used Kathy Orta's Hidden Hinge System. I gave myself a 3 8 inch gusset and as you can see it's a chunky album. This album is about seven and a half by six with a four inch spine and if you follow me at all you know I do a lot of babies first albums and that's because they're a really popular album to do it's a great way for a new mom to document the first year of the baby's life with both photos and journaling and this gives you a great opportunity to write down all those moments that you tend to forget so on the front here I used three different papers from their collection and I did Mod Podge the outside of the album and all the little critters only because the outside's going to be handled quite a bit so I did Mod Podge the papers here along with all these little labels and elements. I made a shaker card on the front using some blue green iridescent and some iridescent flakes which I thought was a great um, addition to a baby album and I used one of the digital stamps that comes in the collection it says a baby makes love stronger the days shorter, the nights longer, and a home so much happier. This frame here comes in the collection, so I just added a uh, polka dot, gray polka dot paper in the back, which is probably hard to pick up on camera. I added some clear cardstock by Heartfelt Creations that I got from Cut at Home. This adorable elephant that I backed a few times with cardstock to make him very strong. And then this little baby bottle and rattle. And this label comes in the collection and I added this tiny label that says new arrival to it. And it has little buttons that already come on that. I love the little shaker part in it. On the side here I did another label that says baby's first year and on the back I did a little label that says treasured moments. So inside the album again um, you've seen me do plenty of albums like this I, I do the when I do the baby's first year I like to make the left side for the journaling the right side for the photos but the pockets can also hold photos as well. So right here this little cluster already comes in the elements they, they've done all this for me so I just cut it out it says welcome little one this beautiful gray paper and then this paper here I added these elements to it so you can either print them out just how they are or you can design your own papers and that's what I like about digital papers so I added this little border strip that comes in the collection these little flowers little safety pins and then this stamp that says you are so loved little one and here is the journaling card. They are all backed on the same craft card stock that matches the album. It says, Hello Baby, Name, Birthday, Time, Weight, Height, Hospital, Doctor. A little heart cluster down here that says New Arrival. And I added two homemade enamel dots to it. And the mom can add either journaling or a photo. Again, photos can be placed in here. And the right side is meant for the uh, newborn picture. And it'll follow the baby through the first year because we all know how quickly babies change in the first year so it's a great way to document it. Look at this adorable giraffe. I did three layers of all of these and I did add Mod Podge to them again just to make them stronger since they are holding some photos behind it. I love this paper. So here's all of these have a four and an eighth by six and an eighth mat so the mom can put a four by six photo on it and it'll still leave a little border and this little journaling card that comes in the collection. You can get this, what I got was the bundled collection so it includes everything and if you get the bundled collection you will not get any duplicate papers in them so you don't have to worry about that and it also is 20% cheaper by doing it that way but you don't have to do that if you want to get just the main the FQB that includes papers and some of the elements you can do that as well. 
So every page has a pull-out mat, and I absolutely love that they've included these. This says one month through 12, so every one that you pull out, I have the different months that coordinate. And again, this is great for adding more photos or journaling, and these all slip in the side. So here's another paper that I added some of the elements to, another border strip, this little heart, and this label says Heaven Sense. I added that to the paper and printed that out, but I decided I wanted it to have some dimension, so I just printed it out again by itself and add some foam tape behind it. Here is the one month card. Perfect place, like I said, for a photo, more journaling, photos in the pocket. And I love that all of this coordinates. You don't have to worry about it. It all coordinates. So what I did is I just made the album and then I printed these out afterwards. I did not have to worry about if the one month coordinated with the first page, if the two month coordinated with the second page. I didn't have to worry about that. I love that about this. So on this side, look at this adorable little lion. I love this blue striped paper. Another photo mat. And I will also put in the description box a video I have that shows how you can use these papers, manipulate these papers in your silhouette, uh, your silhouette studio design software, but you don't have to have that software. You can use anything you have on your computer, whether it's Photoshop or Paint, Word. You can just, as long as you have a printer, you can use digital papers. And you can, once you purchase them, they're yours to keep forever. So you can print out as much as you want. But I do use my silhouette. You don't even have to have a Cameo to use it. You can download the free software and design your papers, do whatever you want, and then print them out. You don't have to have your Cameo cut it, but you can. You can have your Cricut cut it, whatever you like to use. So on this, I printed out some paper. I cut out this little element that already came clustered like this, added him on. It says Tiny Treasures. Here is the two month journaling card. Oh, I love this giraffe. It comes with this word, these block words that say boy with a balloon. Super cute. And I love this gray polka dot paper. The grays go so well in this collection for a little boy. On this side, I they do come with some flower and leaves. So I added the leaves and I popped up one of the flowers, added a label that comes in it that says daddy's boy and a label here that says precious. Look at, oh, I love these papers. I know I keep saying that, but I, I just love their collections. They think of everything. So this one is three months. A little tag that comes in the collection, I added seam binding to it. And one of the questions I get the most is how much ink it uses. I used to be intimidated by making mini albums with digital papers because I always worried about how much ink it would use. I just changed my ink cartridge out right before making this album and it hasn't even, the level hasn't even moved. And as you can see, I printed out a ton. So probably my best guess, I'm going to try and keep track of it if, if I can in some way, probably my best guess is I could probably do about five of these large albums on one set of ink cartridges. On this side, I have this adorable bear, this beautiful gray paper. And one thing about their papers, they're solids. They're not plain. This has a very light stripe. It's probably not gonna pick up on camera, but it has a very light stripe design through it. Look at this adorable journaling card that came in it. It says, sweet baby. Great spot for journaling. Here's another paper that, um, I added the border, the little uh, cluster here, and the wording that says all because two people fell in love. I printed that all out on one so it's just solid, it's not dimensional. This paper here has little safety pins, all different colors that match the collection. And then this is the four month. On this side I used a baby bottle, I added a label that says blessed. Again, I love that striped paper. I can't wait to work with the girl collection. I tried to keep this one very boyish. I did add a couple flowers and a little bit of uh, ribbon throughout, which I thought was appropriate for a baby boy, um, but I can't wait to use the little girl one as well. So on this one, this is from my collection. It says, love you little one. Some of the flowers that come with their collection, the five month. Super cute. On this side, I have a little pacifier 
and then this little saying that says sometimes the smallest things take up the most room in your heart, Winnie the Pooh. I love adding these. They give it such character and they're great little journaling spots. And again, here is the six month. I did add decorative paper to the back just to sandwich it in there, just for looks. And I guess to make it a little bit sturdier, more sturdy. On this side, I added some of the flowers, a label here that says Sweet Baby, this beautiful box pleated trim from Wild Orchid Crafts, along with some enamel dots. Love this paper. I just love, I love this collection. So here is the six month. And this is such a great idea. It's a little baby bottle with journaling lines and Again, a great spot for the mom to journal, but it also just looks so cute in this album. On this side, I have this large rattle. Again, a little journaling spot, or she can leave it as it is. I love the gray paper. And this page is a great example. I, When I glued down the rattle, I glued it too much to where my mat didn't fit behind it. So I didn't worry about it. I just ripped it off. I knew it was going to rip the paper behind it. It didn't matter. I printed out another one of these papers and added it right to it. So to me, it it I love being able to print. You can print out as much as you want. But it also, it, had I been using a paper pad and this was the last paper, I would have had to try and find something else or not be able to use this paper. So I, that's one of the benefits to me with digital papers. This side, I love this page. I love this little giraffe. I had him stick over the pocket a little and added a bow from the same paper collection with an enamel dot. This gorgeous paper. Here's the seven month. So you can size these up or down to whatever you need. And I love that they include these. I say this all the time. This is their paint chip. It says, your first breath took ours away. I think it's just such a neat thing. Perfect for journaling or just decoration. A large safety pin on this side. Love the green polka dot paper. This album will hold a lot of photos because the mom can even add photos in these pockets if she wanted to outside of the, the mat. On this side I did this large heart. It comes with a flower on it, but I cut out another flower and added a little foam tape behind it to give it a little dimension. Here's the eight month. Love this paper. I know I sound redundant, but I just love their collections. Mary Fran does such an amazing job with her little critters and everything that goes together. And this is a complete collection for a Baby's First. I get asked a lot about my Baby's First albums. And to me, this, this has everything in it. Perfect for a new mom. The little elephant. This, I printed this all out together. This comes together and I printed it out on this um, polka dot paper. Here is the nine month. Another little tag that comes in the collection that I added seam binding to it. And believe it or not, because I used a lot from this collection, there's still more labels and tags and frames that I didn't use, but I can use those for other projects. This little rattle here, and I love this little saying, dream big little one. Perfect for a little two by two photo or journaling. And again, some more of that lighter paper. It probably won't pick up on camera, but it has uh, white lines through it. On this side, I added some of this gorgeous organza rose trimming from Wild Arca Crafts, a little label that says Mommy's Boy. And look at this quilted pattern on the back. Here's the 10 month. Another little critter along with a little angel. On this page, I printed this out. It's a label that, so you could either cut it out like this. It has a little bit of dimension on it, or you could add it to your pattern and then cut it out, which is what I did here along with this heart. And this is the 11 months. On this side, I did a little onesie. Here's that gray striped paper. Another little journaling card with journaling lines. It says treasured moments. On the last page, they come with these little alpha blocks, baby blocks. They also have numbers, so I added the word baby to it, printed that out. Added another little bow with an enamel dot. Here's the 12 month. And I've always added on the last page a happy birthday because that's the baby's first birthday, which is a huge milestone and a 
parent's life. So this little critter comes in the collection. It says happy first birthday with the little candle, the balloons. I made a little booklet out of it that I used a magnetic closure to keep it closed. So this is great for uh, more photos for the mom. This one says our little man. Little heart that I left open so the mom can tuck the photo behind it. And this last page. And I also made a matching little gift card to go with it, a little 3x3 three three card. So again, you can size these up or down for whatever you need. This is such an adorable collection. You will be seeing me use the little girl collection soon, which I'm excited for because I can add lots of flowers and ribbons to that one. So if you have any questions, please leave me a comment. Check out the description box for all the information. And please give me a thumbs up if you've enjoyed this album. Thanks for watching.